Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. We're in a ghostly tower and it's deci I've decided to do some free falling. But we see an item and this is the Lax Incense. It has two uses. First of all it will raise your evasion by 5% if one of your Pokemon is holding it. It's not that much though so I don't recommend it. However, you can use it to breed Wineout. Now, Wineout is the pre-evolution of Wobbuffet. If you breed two Wobbuffets, you're not going to get a Wineout unless one of your Wobbuffets is holding the Lax Incense. So, if you want a Wineout, or a Wineout, or however you want to pronounce it, then uh, get the Lax Incense or one of your Wobbuffets and you will get yourself a little cute psychic type Pokemon. Good start. We're getting items. I love items. But yes, you've got to drop down this tower in a certain way or it, you just won't get the good item. So, uh, what, which way did I go? I went up first. So we go down this time and when we go down we get ourselves another item and this item is the sea incense. Now in the same way as the lax incense this will allow you to get a pre-evolution when you uh, breed two Pokemon. This is for the Azuril um, uh, you get if you breed a Meryl and an, and an Azu Meryl or two Merrills or whatever, and one of them is holding the Sea Incense, the baby will be an Azuril, which is the pre-evolution of Meryl. Little tiny uh, normal type Pokemon, indeed it is. But it also raises your Water type moves as well if you are if you make one of your Pokemon hold it. But Skullduggery is a foot and a mouth, so we need to go to Slateport to stop Team Aqua because they're going to be taking something and I just don't want it to happen. They're in Slateport, but first I need to heal up and hopefully I will have time to heal up because if I don't have time to heal up, they may steal something from here. At my guess, they're going to steal a boat or something. I don't know. Do, why do they need a boat? You can get a boat. Oh, God, God, I don't know, but we need to find out, so we need to go see Captain Stern. Where is Captain Stern? My repel's worn off, but I don't care about that. Oh, Captain Stern's here. Captain Stern said he discovered something at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, has he now? Okay. Stern, Stern, you're in deep trouble, man. Yes, indeed, we intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. La 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 la. Oh, good old Gabby. She's not much of a battler, but she's a hell of a uh, anchor lady. And there she goes. And now uh, we'll get to talk to Captain Stern. Whew, that was my first time on camera. Really? Yeah, it is kind of nerve-wracking. And yes, you're looking great as well. Nice jacket. Is it new? Oh, you made a new discovery? An underwater cabin on 128? Wow. Oh, could this be the water-type Pokemon? Oh, wait, no. Oh, Captain Archie's here. But where is Captain Archie? I want to say hello to him. Cap where is he? Where is he talking from? What? Oh, what's happening, Stern? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, a megaphone? Uh, oh, oh, God. Wait. It's from the harbor? The submarine? They're trying to take the submarine? Oh, it's almost right. They're gonna take the su Oh no, Captain Archie! Oh my god! Yarg! I commiserate with you! <laughs> oh, pirate's voice. Pirate voices are fun. But no, he's gonna steal the submarine! Hideout in Lily Cove City? Alright, you're going to the hideout in Lily Cove City. That's good. And then they just jump in the water. Crazy. Why? Why would Team Aqua steal my submarine? They can't be after the slumbering Pokemon. I think they are, dude. Oh, this, this, oh, it's, 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 it's this business now. It's, oh, it's serious business now. So they've stolen the orb that they need to wake up the Pokemon. They've stolen the submarine to get to the cave in which the Pokemon is in. Do you people not see all the danger that we're all in? Hoenn could be flooded, but, oh my god. Oh, calm down, Upstart. The Hoenn is in danger, but we still have time. We need to go to the Lily Cove, uh, um, well, Lily Cove Cove, I suppose it is. And that's where the Team Aqua base is. So let's surf in. Let's hope we can get past those two indestructible guards we can. Now, there is a guard wandering around here. I decide to evolve, uh, avoid him. Sorry, not evolve him. That would be odd, wouldn't it? Touch him with a water stone and he evolves into an administrator of Team Aqua. Crazy. I checked down these two um, alleyways as well because I, I thought there, there might be an item there. It would be the perfect place to put an item, but no. So I, I decide to play this a bit Splinter Cell-ish, a bit Metal Gear Solid-ish, a bit, you know, Zelda, you know, Link in Zelda's Garden in Ocarina of Time. I try to avoid as many people as possible, so that's how I'm going to play it. Now, I have too many items, so I drop my fresh water and I get myself a Max Elixir, which will re uh, recover all PP for all moves on any Pokemon you use it on. I hate teleport pads. 
I have hated them since Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow. Dislike them. Can't stand them. Because I get so confused. Now there are two routes that you need to go in order to get the, everything from this place. This is a route that I will explore later. That's the main route. That route will continue the story. However, there is an item in this place. A very good item. One of the best items you will ever receive in any Pokemon game. And the only way to get that is to go the way I'm going. Uh, excuse me. Now, thing is, I get a little bit confused. I don't like puzzles, and this is kind of like a puzzle, because you've got to find your way through. And I just don't like puzzles. Puzzles hurt my head. But more on that later, as I had to take on this guy, I couldn't quite keep up my Sam Fisher Splinter Cell moment going. I had to take on this guy. I should have worn my stealth suit, but no, this guy, this grunt, saw me and he's about to kick my ass. <laughs> of course you're not, you're terrible. We're going to use Fly on Carvana, which will be super effective. Well, it won't be super effective, but he will be very effective. That's what I meant. I know it won't be super effective. A water and a dark type Pokemon are not weak to flying type moves what are you on about no I meant very effective not super effective so don't you dare comment me about that or I'll ridicule you all <laughs> but we do have a Zubat and Zubat nice and weak nice and easy prey for Swellow Swellow flies high Zubat tries to use wing attack oh there's no one there <laughs> and then fly hits Zubat and Zubat goes down huzzah and lucky Zubat I'm getting all this payback on Zubats because in Pokemon Red, Zubats were everywhere and they were a pain in the ass, believe me. Huh, this was supposed to happen. My mission was just to hold you up. Oh, oh, well, well done. But we still have time, guys. We still need to get the item and we still need to stop them from stealing the submarine. But we need to take on this lady as well. War panels, the high nuts, pride and joy. You're clueless. I'm clueless in general lady. I, I I don't like warp panels. They're a bad invention. But you look nice, don't you? They have nice uniforms for uh, the vicious pirates, don't they? Yar, this be a pirate battle it is. And Miss Swallow goes up high and then it's going to bomb down and hit it with fly. I don't have a good pirate voice, but at least I'm trying. We do hit Zubat though with fly and Zubat goes down in one shot. This is all becoming a little bit too easy, don't you think? What's wrong with you? You're not tired at all. No, I could go on all night. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. Let's move on. And now we see this guy and he looks at us. So I thought, oh, we better get out of the way. Now, sorry, sorry. I got a bit confused there. That was the route to continue the storyline. The other route which I'm about to show you is where you get the item. Sorry, got that totally mixed up. Again, don't comment about that. Anyway, I tried to get past this lady. I failed. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh well. So yeah, she's going to take us on because she's bored of uh, walking up and down the same line all the time. And this lady is another grunt. And she's going to have more Pokemon than we've seen before in another Poochiena. In Pokemon Silver, all of the Team Rocket guys had coughings, didn't they? I had the coughing count. So many coughings. It was crazy. But in this one, they seem to all have Zubats and Poochienas. You know, it, it's odd. It, 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 it must get it for like, you know, welcome to uh, Team Aqua, here's your free Pokemon, feel free to train it. But wouldn't you want to actually go out and capture more Pokemon? Because they, with all these dark type Pokemon, you have an incredibly big fighting type weakness. And just a weakness to anything if you're a Carvana, because even flicking Carvana in the face with your fingers would kill it. It is that weak, believe me. And then you have another Carvana, and you'd think she'd learn, you'd think that she'd evolve it, but no, it's not happening. We go up once more, it tries to use Screech to lower our defense, not happening, and then Carvana... Oh, gets hit with fly. Oh dear, with its ugly face. It looks like it's eating its own face. It's it's an odd Pokemon. I do like its evolution though, which we'll see in this episode. So get excited, guys. Oh, I lost. Indeed, you did. Right. So let's move on to that very complicated route I just showed you for, uh, through this portal. So you have lots of portal pads here. And some will advance you, and some will take you back. So you're going to try and find your passageway. And I'm post-commentating this, so you would probably think, hmm, maybe he looked at, up at the guide to see which way he had to go. But as you can see, I got to the end, and no, I'm now back at the start. Oh, dearie me. So what you need to do, go on the left, and then go left again. I mean, you need to go left again. No, you go right this time, and then... No, sorry, sorry. Let's try that again, shall we? So you go left, left, left far left. So just go left. 
left is good, right is bad. And we get a, a treasure trove of items, but oh dear, that noise again. God darn you pirates, they've got me with their electro trap. Oh dear, as if they would let me get away with all of their swag, their uh, treasure, you know, uh, chests. Yes, that's the one, treasure chest. Oh dear. But we do have an Electro to take on. He tries to use Spark, a base 65 electric type move with a 30% chance of paralyzing the opponent. However, as it's electric type and Swamper is a ground type, we cannot be hit by electric type moves. As much as it wants to try, we are immune to it. So it's just going to keep on trying and we're just going to dig it and Electro is out of here. Okay, so one item down. That wasn't an item, but we've got three items to go. We do get paralyzed by Static. Uh, static. If, if, you, if you hit a Pokemon with the static ability, there is a chance that you can be paralyzed by it. I suppose that's the only way you can electrically paralyze a Swampert. Uh, but you can't you can't use Thunder Wave on it, for example. So we try for the a third a second item, sorry, and no, we get ourselves another electrode. You know what would be really annoying if all four of them were electrodes? That would be terrible. Now, for some reason, I switch into Lombra. This isn't a terrific move by me. Why? Because although Lombra is the grass type and the grass type resists the electric type, we're still neutral and Electro can do quite a bit of damage if it wants to. We're seven levels ahead, so that's probably why I was confident enough to use Surf all the time. But as you can see, Spark is actually taking its toll on us and we actually get paralyzed as well. Electro is incredibly quick, so it's already going to get the move before us. So par paralysis, not really a problem, but you know, I don't get why I did that. I, I Again, I thought I was brave enough to take it down with Surf because of the seven levels that I had over it, but obviously I'm not. I do make bad moves sometimes, but Swampert comes in because he loves his Lady Lombra, and Swampert can take it down in one Surf, and the ball just gets washed down the corridor. See you later, Electrode. He's going, probably going to explode because it's dead angry now. But Swallow gets some experience, so does Lombra, so does Swampert. It's a nice family affair. Now, if any of these two are electrodes, I will go crazy. I will smash things. Those two glass canisters that you see, I will I will punch them. But we know we get a nugget, which is a free five grand, and guess what the final item is? The greatest item in Pokemon history. The Master Ball. For anyone who doesn't know what a Master Ball does, the Master Ball is a Pokeball which has a 100% capture rate. It will always capture a Pokemon in the wild. Obviously you can't capture trainer Pokemon unless you use a cheat cartridge of some sort. But a Master Ball will catch anything. Legendaries, Pidgeys, anything. Nothing can break out of it. I, oft I When I use a Master Ball, I still often get scared that they may break out, but that's just silly because they can't. But anyway, we need to continue the storyline. We passed this guy. Sorry, just you know, just passing by. Don't mind me, Team Aqua Grunt, who's supposed to be protecting the base. It's okay. And don't mind me, lady. You know, don't pretend I'm not here. And we actually get to this bit again. And this guy turns around. What up, dude? <laughs> Got here already, did you? We underestimated you. I'm a cut above the grunts. You've said, uh, you've seen. I'm not stalling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Ouch, that would be really painful. But hey, look, it's Matt. Hey, Matt. We saw Matt before on uh, Mount Chimney. Was that Matt? I think it was. But we're going to use Rock Smash on his Carvana. Let's see how strong he has gotten. Oh, nope, not very strong at all, because one Rock Smash did it. Oh, dear. Oh, lucky Matt, you've lost one Pokemon already. How do you feel? Oh, poor Matt. Anyway, he does have a Sharpedo, the evolved form of Carvana. And although... Sharpedo is much stronger and a little bit quicker. His defenses are still god awful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use Rock Smash. Let's see how much damage it does. It actually does pretty well, but it does take over half still. And the problem with this is, not only did he lose a bit of defense thanks to Rock Smash, he can he can be two hit KO'd. When if you take over half damage, that's the best thing, because you can take two hit KO. Well obviously one hit KO is much better, but two hit KO is what we Pokemon trainers aim for at bare minimum. So he's not gonna survive another hit basically. So his defense I've dropped twice. 
is just going to die. So he uses focus energy just to be nice and fancy, but that's not going to do anything. He can't use his high critical hit ratio now. So we finish it off with another rock smash, and that will give us a level up to level 38. So I'm is doing so well. Look at it. Look at these stats, guys. Wow, 104 attack. Very happy. Look at the HP, 137. So much HP. I love it. But we do get to take on a mighty Enna who will use its Intimidate ability to lower our physical attack. No matter, because Swampert has excellent special attacking prowess, he will use Surf and that critical hit, so it does do it in one hit. Unlucky Mafio! What are you going to say for yourself? <laughs> so I lost too. You should not be happy about losing, dude. What? No? Oh, <laughs> okay. While I was toying with you, our boss got away. Oh my god, no! You... Fiend, Matt, you've ruined everything! So, the adventure continues next time on Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. See you later, guys.